in this video, I'm going to show you a completely new method to get CapCut Pro for free. And no, this is not screen recording or uninstalling the app. You don't need to do any of that. In fact, this is the easiest method that I've encountered so far. And the good part is that it works on any version. You don't need to download the older version of CapCut or do any of that stuff. And one thing I need to mention, this video is solely for those using CapCut PC. That's if you're using CapCut on your laptop, this video is for you. But making a separate tutorial in the future to show you how to access CapCut Pro features on your Android or Apple devices. With that being said, let's dive right in. So all you need to do is click on the first link on the description and come over to this site. Fill in your details and click on download now. It will take you to a Google Drive folder where you download a crack file that we are going to be using for this tutorial. So just be patient, allow it to download. It's going to download as a zip folder. So make sure you unzip it and export it to your desired location on your PC. After exporting it, go over to the file and open it. Now, here are the files, but we'll be coming back to this later. So go back to CapCut app, click on new project, click on import project and import the file you want to be editing. After importing the file, I want you to do all of your editing and use all the pro feature you want. For now, I'm just going to remove all the dead space from this video, all the wrong ticks or all the empty spaces where I was not saying anything. I recommend you do that on all your videos in order to increase the retention rate. Now after doing that, you can add text, whether there's pro version on it or not. You can just generate your auto captions and add text to the video, as you can see here. And then you can also go to animations and pick whichever animations you feel like picking, whether it has the pro version or not. You can also choose whichever font you want, whether it has the pro version or not. I recommend choosing fonts that have pro version just for this tutorial. Now, after editing my text, you can see that the text has been added to the screen. Now I'm going over to transitions to pick whichever transition I feel like picking, whether it has a pro feature or not. As you can see, a lot of the transition has pro feature, but I don't really care. I'll pick any transition I want whenever I want. <laughs> And I suggest you put a whole bunch of pro transition on your videos and use whichever one you feel like. I'm also going over to the filters tab to pick whichever filter I feel like, whether it has a pro version or not. So I'm going to click on this clear right here and drag and drop it. As you can see, it's color corrected my video and made it a little brighter. So you can use whichever filter you feel like using to color correct your video or to color grade your video. CapCut also has an audio library where you can get free sound effects and free music. So you can also pick any of this music, whether it's written pro or not on it. If it's written pro, you can pick it. If it's written free, you can pick it. There's actually no free, it's just pro. But when pro is not written, you know it's free. So you can pick whichever music you like or sound effects. You can just click on the search body and search for whichever one you like. For, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to drag the music down. Just to show you how it works. Now going over to stickers, there are a whole bunch of stickers that CapCut offer. But the problem is that they are only available to people that pay for pro. But now I'm going to be showing you how to access it all for free. So please make sure you like this video if you're getting any value from it. So you can just drag and drop all these pro features on your video wherever you want, however you want. Whenever you want also. So you can just scroll and just check. Pick whichever you want, whichever you like. Now going over to my favorite, which is the effects. I love CapCut effects. But the thing is that a lot of them now are pro. But you can access them all for free because of this tutorial. So just click on whichever one you want to access. Drag and drop it on your video. Whether it's the zoom in, whether it's the pendulum swing, rebound swing, blur effects. Anything you like, you can drag and drop on your video now. Whether it's having the pro version or not. You can see I'm going over to the body effect and I want to add in this thunder lighting to my eye <laughs> so just play around with it pick whatever you like apply it to your video now that i'm done picking i'll click on export and as you can see capcut is saying i can't export the video because of the pro features i used but that will no longer be a problem anymore because of what i'm about to show you now now go back to that file and click on the CapCut Crack application. So some of you might be asking, does this application have any malware? No, it doesn't because I've been using it for a while now and my system is very, very okay. So all you need to do now is type on your keyboard, O-N, on. 
use um, small letter because it's case sensitive. After typing on on, click on enter. Then it should take a few while to load. After it loads, click on enter again on your keyboard or click on any key. But I recommend clicking on enter. And if you click on enter, you'll notice that it has closed the CapCut app. Yes, that is good. It's closed the app so that it can reconfigure it and give you access to all the pro versions. Now, I want you to go back to the CapCut app and open it. Go back to your video project that you were editing before. Now, I want you to go back and click on export. Now, as you can see, we are able to export the video even after using all the pro features. So, all you need to do is rename the video, select the file location where you want the video to be saved. You can pick whatever resolution you want. For this video, I'm going to use 4K. And you can pick maybe 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second if you if you recorded the video at I mean in slow motion, and then export your video all for free. It's going to take a while to export, but just be patient. You've gotten access to CapCut Pro for free. Now let's go back to the file location to check out the video and see if it's real. As you can see, I actually turned off the volume of the video because of the copyrighted song I used. But as you can see all the effects, the text the stickers, the transitions we used, they are still on the video. So you can see that this works and this works fine. Now, after you are done exporting, I recommend you go back to that crack software and click on the CapCut crack application. When it loads, I want you to type OFF off. I want you to turn off the application because if you don't turn it off, you'll not be able to see the pro features on CapCut anymore. So I recommend you turn it off after using and turn it on whenever you want to use it. All right, so make sure you try it out and let me know your thoughts in the comments if it works for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.